Hello and welcome to Golden Coast Woodworks. Today I begin the modification of my Harbor Freight dust collection system starting with the chip separator. The chip separator is made entirely from medium density fiberboard, otherwise known as MDF. The first thing I did was break this 4 by 8 sheet of MDF into a smaller, more manageable piece. Then I cut it in half. I did all of this with a straight edge clamp and my circular saw. I used my table saw to then size the panels. They measure 24 inches square. It's important to use the factory edges of the MDF, placing them against the fence when cutting them to size. To find the center of each panel, I used a large T-square and connected each corner with a pencil. The point at which they cross is the center. After marking the center point with an ice pick, I drill a 3 8 inch deep hole with my drill. This will be the pivot point I will use to position my circle jig. This next part is a multiple step process. Because the diameter of the baffle was difficult to pinpoint, I set my circle jig to what the approximate radius was and then routed a shallow circle. I then test fitted the baffle. I repeated this process keeping the depth setting on my router the same until I came to the right diameter. Finally, I routed the channel to its intended depth, which was approximately one quarter inch. Without adjusting my circle jig or my router, I followed the same steps and routed the same diameter circle in the second panel I cut earlier. These two pieces make up the top and bottom of the baffle portion of the chip separator. Here's a closer look at the routed channel. Now that the MDF sheet is a little smaller, I was able to use my table saw to cut the last panel. Again, I'm using the factory edge of the MDF. The dimensions are the same as the previous two. I trimmed the second one to size just to have a backup in case I messed something up. This panel will be the lid of the trash bin that collects the chips. I follow the same steps as I did earlier to route the slot into the MDF.
It's time to begin routing the channel that the chips will fall through into the collection bin below. The exact dimensions of this channel will be included in the detailed plans I will provide with this video. I route this channel using the same methods I've already shown you. To cut the scrap material free from the panel I had to freehand this part. I clean up the end of the slot using a chisel and a dead blow hammer. I apologize for this image being a little blurry, but I wanted to show you a close-up of the slot I just cut. It begins at the beginning of where the baffle intake will be and extends around the perimeter of the circle 240 degrees. After drilling the pivot point of the dustbin panel through the MDF, I flip the panel over so that the slot I cut into it in the previous step is facing down. I then trace the outline of the slot I just made onto the back of the panel. I'm again using my router and circle jig to cut this slot. I'm cutting just inside the trace lines leaving it a little smaller than it needs to be. I'll explain why in a few moments. After drilling pilot holes with countersinks, I attach these two panels together temporarily with one and a quarter inch drywall screws. This is necessary for the next step. For some reason the pivot points of these two panels didn't quite line up. I'm not sure what error I made, but if this happens to you, you can fix it this way. With the dustbin panel facing up, I'm using a flush trim bit to bring these slots into alignment. Here's a closer look at the completed slots. With that business out of the way, there's one more cut to make. A 4 inch hole is needed in the panel that rests on top of the baffle. This hole will be connected to the dust collector motor with a piece of hosing and a fitting. If this isn't clear just yet, then I promise it will be when the time comes to assemble this project.
With all the cuts made, I can now unscrew these two panels and secure them permanently. I do this with some glue and the screws I just removed. That's it for part one of this build guys. As you have probably already guessed, this will be a multi-part video series. Once I've completed the build, I will have a full set of plans available for download on my website. So keep an eye out for that link down below in the description section. If you would like to receive notifications for when I post the additional videos in this project series, please hit that subscribe button and notification icon. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great rest of your week.